Hey everybody, it's Moonbat here, and we're doing Realistic Mission 8. It's been a long time since we've done a mission, so let's get cracking. I'm um, actually using Midori this time as browser, because uh, Firefox has disabled the so-called self-cross-site scripting attacks, which makes Firefox a really secure browser, but it doesn't help us win this challenge. So, let's get cracking. We need to steal from Gary Hunter the sum of 10 million and on zero I think the three should yeah we need to deliver that to drop cash drop cash and then we need to clear logs clear logs all right let's go to their site <clears throat> now I already made a login but first go here to register and register an account and it should still be online. There we go. All right, now we can uh, not view source. Well, no, I need page info. Maybe I can find it like so. There we go. That's the one I'm running for. So we got two cookies which we're gonna change so we just put it in there now we're gonna go user info you can search up users so let's do Gary Gary I want to gay around the world find me um, looks to me like it's vulnerable to SQL injection so let's do it. Let's find ourselves a good candidate like that one. Copy. Uh, where did I leave that? Here. Like so. Do we have any other ones that follow in this one? Hackers suit. <laughs> Want to hack your site? Drop table. So we got user drop cache in there. Got two drop caches actually, but we need the one with uppercase C. And look at how many users are in there. Let me find one. No, that's not it. No, no. Just wondering if everything is stored or not. Alright, let me just um, no, not everything is stored, not permanently anyway. Let's see if I can find myself in here. Yes, there we are. So the description is what is there but in this case it's also the password <laughs> oh yeah so um what are we what was i going to do yeah so we're going to home no we're not going to home we're going to sorry we're going to uh login to like so Blank password username new. Very annoying. You can only get there via login one. So we need to refer login one. Then we get here. That's fine. Alright. So we got two things here. So let us see if we can do view source and inspect elements. Let's do that one. Because I like that one better. Uh, inspect elements. It's somewhere in here. Is, that, is this piece right here? But ah, there we go. Here we go. There we go. Center fonts. Welcome to your account. Password is. So here we go. 
that's the one that I want. We got two forms in here. So let's see if we can do this edit. Yes. So let's get that one out there. Let's do like so. So we got two forms. I uh, thought I said copy, but already then. Uh, edit it just now. Can I copy that like so? Alright, then we'll do copies right now. There we go. That's one. And this is the other one. Copies right now. There we go. So this is the move your uh, money form. And the other one is the clear your logs form. Alright, so I don't need that one anymore. Now we're going to do some JavaScript. Um, things actually and that is um, we're gonna first change our cookie to be account username equal to that account password equal to that then we're going to do a form we're gonna write a form that's actually this but then slightly different that will make a button that will actually do this and in that instance send the money to where it needs to go and then we'll just delete here we'll delete two files, we'll delete ours but we don't need to delete ours, we need to delete his files, so Gary William Hunter uh, no sorry, uh, Dropcache files so we don't, so they don't know that it went there but we can delete all three of course, it doesn't really matter um, first off we're going to be changing our cookie via JavaScript. So let's just um, do that. Alright, so we're going to start by changing that one to be that one. So we do that. We say void document.cookie equals named field name is that field name. equals to well it should become that one so like so all right we run that now we can check if everything is correct by doing alerts document cookie and our username is now Gary William Hunter now we need to change our password we'll do it in the same way void document cookie like so, uh, no, not so, uh, sorry, like so, equals, now I'm going to change that one, I'm going to change that one to that one, like so, 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 alright, now we're going to do an alert to double check, and everything's correct. Now we still have the session, so now our thing is set correctly. Now we're going to write something to our screen, which is basically this. But we're going to edit it first a little bit, and I can edit it and on, on two places. I'll just edit it here. We'll do a form name, my form. Simple as that. Action move money post. Yes, we're going to do a input submit. Now we're going to move that to the bottom. Oh, come here. Uh, the first one we don't need those breaks. Input type. We'll make that a hidden. We'll do a uh, from actually username where this from is from Gary William Hunter we'll do another hidden name this time to uh, drop cache 
and I'll make another one input type equals hidden um, name equals amount value equals sorry value equals then with one field three one field three like so and then we gotta submit there in a form there now so we're gonna write that entire thing to our like so and I'll make that actually single quotes now we can leave that in there actually we'll make this single quotes home that should do it parser ah let's break that me to do that. Uh, we need to edit this all out. Luckily, there aren't many quotes in here. Anyway, what we're trying to do is we're trying to write a custom made form, as it were, but button to screen, which we then utilize to make a cool request to their server with the credentials of Gary William Hunter. And then we'll send 10 million to this one. I believe this is it. No, of course not. Yes, Smith. And at the end, we need that one. Syntax error parser. Where did I make a mistake? For document. Oh, yeah, of course. I need to add an extra. That one. So now we got a button, we'll click that. So we got congratulations, now cover our tracks. Well, first off, let me show you something. We got a very awesome move the money into drop cash account finish cookie. That's a pretty goddamn awesome cookie. All right, so uh, we're gonna make a new one. This one, cover our tracks. So we'll do the same. We'll do void document dot write like so, like so, like so, like so, like so, like so. We'll change all of the quotes in here. Method post. Input type in, yes, deer is fine, but the deer should be a different deer. And I completely forgot if I should be deleting the Gary William ones or should be deleting drop cache ones. I'm not really sure. We'll find out. Could be that this one and so clear files clears. All right, but is it not? Clear logs. Yeah, I'm not really sure which logs is clear, but files are cleared. Normally you would get a like a, a cleared. So maybe we need to run it for the drop cache account I should really copy that statement because now I have to do it all over again uh, this is something you can do on sites these days but just get a browser that allows self uh, cross-site scripting as it were the 
because Firefox does not allow it anymore and I could spend a lot of time figuring out how to do that but you can also get uh, no because they were under log files of course sorry yeah, that's stupid me they were under log files like that just gonna clear the whole log files yeah yeah I'm starting to remember how I did this mission before do, 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 do. should be like that yeah see so congratulations we've completed mission 8 that's it it's a uh, quite a cool mission and it, it utilizes some JavaScript coding and um, form well not form but um, PHP exploitation as it were um, not really a cross site well a bit of a cross site request forgery and what else did we do? SQL injection. That was what one would do did as well. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it for hack the site. Realistic mission. Pardon me, number eight.